Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is not being edited afterwards. This is me sitting down in my living room, taking a video of a bird that's just chilling over by our window inside the house. So, it just as a matter of spontaneity, I thought I might try to record a little vlog here for you. A, uh, something bird related. So, uh, I'm going to tell you about Birds of Paradise and my favorite Birds of Paradise moment. And by the way, I apologize for the shaky camera, but it is zoomed in all the way. I am really far away from this dude, so uh, sorry about that. Okay, so back in the day, I had an Ensnaring Bridge deck. Now, Ensnaring Bridge, you've seen Wurza, you've seen Lantern Control, you know what this thing does. Creatures can't attack if they have power greater than the number of cards in your hand. Uh, well, Birds of Paradise happens to have zero power, so it can still attack through in Staring Bridge. Well, that's great, Jay, but what good does that do you? Well, Birds of Paradise flies. No kidding, it's a bird, and it's not a chicken. So, uh, yeah, of course it flies. But that actually matters for this. So, the deck had Exalted Shenanigans, it had Noble Hierarch, it had Kasali Pride Mage, I believe it had Cathedral of War, though I'm not completely sure about that. And one of the ways that you could win is set up in Snaring Bridge and attack with Birds of Paradise. That wasn't the, the main win condition. It was a Presence of Gons deck, so you're supposed to win with infinite one ones. But uh, no, no, we, uh, we also had that as a backup. And that was personally my favorite way to win with the deck, rare though it was. The deck wasn't particularly good. It was a janky deck. It was a homebrew, of course, knowing me. And, uh, I really liked it. So, Birds of Paradise got there in that deck. Because it was a zero-power creature, just like this little... I think it's a wood thrush. You've got to be a zero-power creature. Alright. Set some seeds out for you, and you're not, you're not going after them, little buddy. And then, real, ooh, really quickly, a question asked by Rooklin, one of our patrons... Uh, she asked, what cards would I like to have in Historic? So, of course, we get to add, you know, lots of gets to add cards to it. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be whatever they'd like. Heck, for all, I, for all they care, they could add Black Lotus if they wanted to to the game. Uh, but what would I like to see, personally? Well, I think we're already Planeswalkered out. We're already very Planeswalkered out at this point. Um... Initially, my inclination is to say that they should put things in to make there be more archetypes in Historic. To make Historic feel more like its own unique format. And so, for example, and I'm not saying to actually do this, but if they put Infect in there, that would be very unique. It would be like a post-Frontier format that happened to have Infect. Although, don't do Infect. That seems like a good... As much as I like the archetype, that seems like it'd be a bad idea. But something unique. So, looking back in the game's history, um, and I guess also the low-hanging fruit is anything out of Kaladesh. So, a card like Paradoxical Outcome, pa Kaladesh and Amonkhet, because they were already in the version before the one we're playing now, the closed beta. Uh, so, Paradoxical Outcome seems like a really fun card to play, and I like combo decks. And it's rare to see a lot of combos on Arena because of the timer constraints that there are. That's unfortunate, but that's true. I guess I would like to see more things like Paradoxical Outcome that enable long combos for the purpose of making the game... I don't know, combos are fun to me. Um, and so, my list would consist of things like... Ooh, um... Hmm... Tooth and Nail, I think, would be kind of fun to see in Arena. Um, I don't know, you get the idea. The cards that enable more combos. Uh, admittedly, one of the things about Arena that's kept me a bit away from it, I know that you'll be so surprised to hear this coming from the Infect player, is that I don't feel like I can really get, I don't really see all of the archetypes that there could possibly be in the game. Um, you know, there's a lot of aggro, a lot of mid-range, a lot of control. 
and the combos that exist because of the restraints on your time can't be as fully fleshed out as we might like them to be. We're talking combos like Nexus of Fate into Nexus of Fate into Nexus of Fate. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm meaning Paradoxical Outcome, Long String, Payoff Card. You know, something like that. I'm sorry, the camera is not steady, and that's my fault. That's 100% my fault. And this bird is like, what are you talking about? Just add Birds of Paradise. Which, you know, fair enough, that's another card to add, so we'll add that to the list. So we're at Paradoxical Outcome, Birds of Paradise to the Nail. This is a weird list. This is a really weird list. Um, you know, um, as long as they're never going to print like a... Uh, Splinter Twin effect. Wouldn't mind seeing like a Pestermite or a Deceiver Exarch show up. You know, fair cards that might have some value, but we're gonna not add the cards to break them. I would assume that they're never printing a Splinter Twin or a Kiki Jiki ever again. That would be kind of neat. And uh, add the other one for good measure, and there you go. Deceiver Exarch, Pestermite, that's five. <laughs> All right. This list is off the top of my head, but also, uh, this I wasn't expecting to film today. Certainly not something like this, but I had to. Because you're so cute. You're so cute. Look at this little guy. Alright. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye. I can't turn it off. You're such a cute little... Uh... Girl? I can't tell. Whatever. Alright, yeah, okay, so I am gonna do something. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. Cause it's gonna get... You thought it was shaky before. It's gonna get real shaky in just a minute. Yeah, I told you I was a ways back. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And... We're off. Oh, hello. Focus. Hello? Maybe if I do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, nope, never mind, it's gone. Alright, buddy, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>